the fact that this has just landed into my palm saying Robin you need to make a video when I've been debating about what my first video of 2021 would be yes ma'am <laughs> What's up guys, it's a girl Robin and welcome back. And well, I just woke up. My sleep schedule's pretty effed up right now. I'm very nocturnal. <laughs> so it's 10 p.m. and about two hours ago, it was released that Yu Gyum will be leaving JYP Entertainment. Am I surprised? No, <laughs> not at all. And the reason why I didn't make a video about Jin Young supposedly signing with BH Entertainment, which is a... Uh, drama actor agency is because there's still speculation that he might still sign with JYP and everything like that so yeah because BH Entertainment is for actors like there's a lot of huge actors from BH Entertainment that's why I did make a video about Jin Young because I was like well he still might sign with JYP but then seeing Yu Gyum, he's leaving JYP and going to AOMG. And I'm like, oh my god, Yu Gyum's going to AOMG. And then I'm just over here thinking, holy shit, is God 7 not going to sign with JYP anymore? Because if they don't, <laughs> round of applause for fucking God 7 for realizing JYP ain't shit. Oh my god. <laughs> but there's also still speculation that even if members leave, they're going to still try to promote with each other but it'll just be harder because they're gonna be all through different entertainments but because we all know got seven's bond is like no other but that just means one we'd probably be waiting for a longer comeback because they would all probably be in different entertainment industries and two who knows how jyp is gonna do this because jyp they stated that they are currently in the talks with each member to find specific contracts for each of them that way they can still promote as got seven and though i love got seven i think that what you give do is what you give is particularly doing is leaving jyp i think that is the best choice for all the members i'm about to start crying but Honestly, with the way JYP has been treating GOT7, when GOT7 had saved JYP Entertainment from bankruptcy back in 2014, I feel like they should leave. I'm, I'm not mad. I'm not mad. And a lot of people have been sending me this too, which is really funny because I literally found it on my feed before checking my DMs because I tend to look at my feed before checking DMs. And a lot of people sent it to me and I'm just like, I'm not surprised. Like, I kind of knew, and I kind of knew Jin Young or Yu Gim would be the first one to leave. I had a feeling. I knew Jin Young would leave because, I mean, he wants to pursue acting more. And then Yu Gim, because I feel like Yu Gim's just like the most underrated member of JYP. And so, I kind of knew that they were going to be the first two to leave. It's just, it, it's, it's insane to think that it's actually happening. I'm so proud of them. And to those people that are saying that they're mad that, you know, they're leaving JYP or stuff like that, you're not a true fan, in my opinion, because you should want the best for the boys, whether they stay together or whether they leave or whether they disband, anything like that, you should want the best for the boys. I don't think they'll disband. I honestly don't. God Seven's bond is fucking insane. The biggest, the best bond I've ever seen from a K-pop group. And I've seen a lot of K-pop groups in my time because I have been a fan for over how, how many years now? 14, 15 years? Holy shit. So it's like God Seven's bond is something that I've never seen another K-pop group possess. And I'm about to start crying <laughs> because it's just, it's finally happening. And I know that the boys... They're gonna do what they feel is right for them. That's why I'm happy that Jin Young did sign. I think he did sign. I'm not 100% sure if he did, but I'm happy that Jin Young at least was in uh, discussions about signing with BH Entertainment. That way he can pursue his acting because that was like the n number two thing that he's always wanted to do is pursue, pursue acting. And most of the time with JYP, I mean, did you see Dream High? Did you see that Glass of a webtoon? And then, you know, as Jin Young got older, he got stuff like The Legend of the Blue Sea, He is Psychometric, With My Love Blooms, like amazing ass roles that suits Jin Young. And it took so long for him to get those. <laughs> so long. And then just with like Yu Gyum, poor Yu Gyum just doesn't get anything. I feel like Yu Gyum is like the one member that they kind of just forget about. Yu Gyum and Young Jae. I feel like they're the main two members that people forget about all the time. And I'm just like, bruh. Bruh. Honestly, 
I'm surprised that he signed with AOMG. That I definitely was not expecting. I thought that Yugiam would, like, if he did leave JYP, he would sign with, like, a different entertainment company and be a choreographer. That's what I thought Yugiam would do. Not sign with AOMG. That was, that was, that was a shock. <laughs> that was a shock right there. I was like, Yugiam, AOMG. But that, now does that mean that we'll get a Yugiam solo album? Will we get a Yugiam solo debut? Hello? <laughs> Me just my mind thinking a thousand miles per hour now, but I'm not mad. To those of you who are wondering if I'm mad or sad that Yugiam is leaving JYP, no, because we still don't know what the other six members are doing. We still don't know what JYP has in store for them because they said that they're doing exclusive contracts for each member. That way, they could still try and promote together. Um, so I don't think. Th do I think this is the end of Got Seven? No. I also just. I have a lot of faith in the boys because I know that their bond is just insane. And I know that they wouldn't just let JYP get in the way of them doing what they love the most, which is creating music and producing it and putting it out for you guys. Or for us. For you guys, us, same thing. Um, but yeah, I just, that was a great thing to wake up to because I literally was like, I need to make a video for 2021. What video should I make for 2020? This one just landed in the palm of my hand and said, Robin, here you go. But yeah, I just want to let you guys know that though it may seem like this is the end of GOT7, don't panic. It's not yet. <laughs> Even if it is the end of GOT7, which I will knock on some wood because I highly doubt it is. But just in case it is, you are a true fan of the boys if you want what's best for them. I feel like Jackson, honestly, I feel like Jackson will just leave JYP and just keep doing Team Wang shit, and I would be fine. I'd be like, yes, sir. <laughs> Do your Team Wang shit, Jackson. Yes, sir. You got your own company to worry about. But, like, you are a true fan of the boys. You understand the boys the most if you want the best for them. And they're going to do what they feel is best for them. But they're also, also always having all that says in mind. Because obviously, if it wasn't for Agassiz, they wouldn't be where they are today. If it wasn't for Agassiz, JYP Entertainment would have been bankrupt. In 2014, wouldn't have been able to debut twice. Stray kids. Itsy. Like, come on. Come on, JYP Entertainment. This is all happening because you treated them like shit. The moment they debuted, you were like, oh, got seven, got seven. But then the moment twice debuted. It was like Got7 didn't exist. The moment ITZY debuted, Got7 didn't exist. They don't, they don't even treat Stray Kids well. <laughs> they're only treating Stray Kids well now is because since God's menu got hyped up the fuck up, they're treating them a little bit better. A little bit. Whereas with Got7 literally saved them from bankruptcy in 2014. They were on the verge of bankruptcy in 2014. Got7 debuted. It had the appeal of a lot of foreign fans. And so... They got money. That's how they debuted twice. That's why they were able to do 16. Is because they had money from GOT7. <sighs> yeah. It's just, it's very interesting that this is all happening. And I'm just over here watching it unfold. And I'm like, this is what you get. <laughs> like, literally. Because I've been saying for years now. And you can ask Multifaceted ACG Ashley. You can ask my friend Jay. You can ask my friend Roseanne. I've literally said, I'm waiting for the boys to leave JYP. <laughs> I've been waiting for the boys to leave JYP. Probably since 2017, if I'm being completely honest. Because I'm just like, I know that they're going to leave. I knew that they were at least some of the members were going to leave. Because JYP has nothing to offer them. JYP, like, there's a reason why Nika put in the night, you know, and Not By The Moon did not do that well on the charts. It's because JYP wrote them. But then you look at Last Piece and Breath, or you look at Look and Lullaby, and they did fucking amazing on the charts. And you know why? Because the members wrote the songs. Come at me. Come at me. Come at me. Here goes my chance of ever getting to interview the boys if they still are in under JYP Entertainment. But it's just, it's true. It's true. They've even said on multiple shows that JYP treats them differently compared to the girl groups. Or any female idol. Which in my opinion is very disgusting. Disgusting and sexist. Like. Ugh, like. How? How? How can you? Like. The main thing I 
can't get over is how can you treat the group that got you out of bankruptcy like shit? I don't understand that. I really don't understand that. But yeah, I just wanted to make this video because a lot of you have been asking me or DMing me. Are you okay, Robin? Are you sad? Are you mad? What are your thoughts about this? And I'm just kind of like... I knew it was gonna happen. I freaking knew. And I'm happy you give us the first one. Cause I feel like I feel like after we get that first one, then the rest of the members are gonna like fall on a little line. <laughs> I'm just I'm just interested in what companies they join now. If they don't stay with JLP. I'm just interested. Cause AOMG was definitely a shock for me. I was not well and what's really funny is that AOMG is literally led by J Park. <laughs> And J Park left JYP. So I think I think it's fun. Honestly, if all the members joined AOMG, I would laugh. <laughs> I think I would laugh my ass off if they left. Oh my god. So yeah. That's that video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to like, subscribe, become a one day. Be sure to follow me on social media. And I'll see you all in the next video. Annyeong!